hi if you hanged on for this long thank you so much for watching my first cost of living um grocery haul this is how much i spent to buy groceries in ireland so i bought my groceries from duns this was my second time shopping online but um i shopped on at duns again um i didn't shop at tesco um yet or super value but with time i will try those doors out as well for online shopping and we can compare the prices i didn't shop at little because they don't have online delivery in my area neither does aldi so in total i spent 90 euro and 76 cents on this grocery shopping um that is including that is already including the that is already excluding the 18 euro 15 cents savings and promotions that's including the 10 euro um, voucher that you the 10 euro less voucher that you get whenever you shop for anything over 50 euro from duns um, and other little savings as well there um, just to say as well this is not sponsored in any way so these are my own thoughts and everything this is also including the three euro delivery fee i also paid four euro extra um, as a tip to the driver um, this was my second time f uh, shopping at Dance. The last time I didn't tip the delivery driver. I was not very well prepared, so I didn't have money at home. I always trip the takeaway guy, but I'm not sure about the grocery delivery driver. That Are you supposed to tip him as well? I know it's not a must to tip the driver, but to be honest, like... I, I just like to do it, it's nice. I've been a waiter before, so tipping is like my second nature. I ordered everything on a Monday and I got a delivery slot for Wednesday. There were other delivery slots on other days as well, but they were a bit like two euro more and we were not in a hurry, so I didn't mind waiting another day and then choose the slot that is three euro. The nice thing about this is you can choose um, times when you want your grocery delivered. Obviously, they're not going to get it that exact time, but you sort of have an idea that, okay, Dan's is going to deliver my groceries between 8 and 10, or it's these even times in the evenings for when you're at work, which I thought made things a little bit more convenient, especially if you're working. Now, my thoughts on the groceries as well. I'll be very honest. Um, sometimes I find Dan's a little bit pricier in comparison to Lidl and Aldi but at the same time they have a great selection of goods and I always enjoy shopping there. Um, the food is very good quality and there's so much so much more to choose from. I know that if you take your time as well and you have a good shopping list you can get good deals at Lidl and Aldi but it is a nice experience to shop at Dunn's for their selection. Looking at the items that I bought, um, there are some items that I wouldn't buy on a regular basis. Um, you know, like the uh, shower gels and the croissants. Those are not things that we buy all the time. So that did drive up um, the, the receipt value a bit. Um, but what I realized that if we went to shop in Duns in person, we would have spent a little bit more especially if we went there hungry because we would be picking and choosing more things just because when you are in a shop you can get a little bit distracted when i was shopping i did have to change my choices with certain things for example if i wanted to buy some bacon and i wanted to buy a certain brand of bacon i would change my choice if i saw another brand of bacon that is on sale i would instead buy that instead of buying my other regular choice um, to keep prices down as well i did buy a lot of dance um, store name products um, i bought quite a few of these actually they are cheaper than other products in terms of the quality they were okay they were okay i cannot complain um, obviously this is because their own store 
store in store brand so it is a little bit cheaper um, but if you are loyal to a certain product or to a certain brand and you don't mind spending a little bit more you can definitely still go ahead and buy those brands but there was quite a huge difference sometimes 20 to 30 cents sometimes even more that um, in terms of either buying the done store brand or buying another different brand that they stock up on um, in terms of the fresh produce it was very fresh I cannot complain and say anything um, was stale or anything like that there were certain items if they didn't have in stock that they would change and give you something else in place of that for example if you were looking for bacon for a particular brand and that brand was not in stock they would choose something closest or a different brand and give you that instead which is okay if you're still getting the same product however <laughs> i have to note that i wanted um waffles you know the sweet waffles i love to have those with maple syrup and ice cream or cream um they did not have those in stock so instead of giving me like a different brand i don't know if they were completely out of waffles they gave me potato waffles which are actually salty they are more like um i don't want to say hash browns but it's just basically like eating potatoes shaped in a waffle um, so they replaced it with that um, I don't know if they sent me an email notifying me about this and I didn't see it I was a little bit disappointed as I really wanted to have my sweet waffles but they didn't just shove it to me when the driver was doing the delivery he did say that we didn't have your waffles in stock instead we're giving you this and I was like well, since the drivers told me, like, that's okay, and I wasn't going to send it back and go through the hustle of getting a refund and all of that just for a couple of euros for waffles. Um, but just note that, that if anything is out of stock, they will replace it with something else, either a different brand or something close to what you're looking for. Um something else is that they do not bill you immediately they will take your card details but they will bill you the next morning this is because they are packing the order so that if anything is completely completely out of stock they cannot find a replacement then they will alter your invoice and bill you only for the items that are being delivered which is pretty cool that way you're not being um you know you're not buying things and not getting the things and still paying for them and then going through the hustle of getting a refund if you are worried that okay i order fresh uh, produce i'm ordering chicken fish what happens like the driver is not delivering to my house only he's probably going to a few other places what happens to my fresh produce does it still stay fresh when they came they came actually in a refrigerated truck so that was amazing so you know that your food is still fresh even though the driver has a few other stops to do so this is the end of this video guys um if you would like me to do a few more of these if you like me to do tesco um and super value so that we can compare and see the cost of living as it's changing here in ireland and you can see and get an idea on how much you are you can spend on groceries in the Republic. Let me know, leave a comment below. Um, and something that really does my channel a lot of good that I would request if you have the time to do is to subscribe, like this video. It does my channel a whole lot of good. That being said, thank you so much guys for stopping by and I will see you in the next time. Bye.